The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says more contaminated wastewater has leaked from the facility into the sea. This shows bad crisis management. The water contained high levels of radioactive strontium. Workers discovered water leaking from a pipe connected to a wastewater tank on Thursday. Workers closed some valves and the leakage stopped half an hour later. The system is pointless if it doesn't work at the crucial moment. A spokesperson for a Tokyo Electric Park Company says about 12 tons of wastewater had leaked from a disconnected pipe joint. He says the company believes that a large portion of the water flowed into the ocean through a nearby drainage ditch. First your ass is backed up, now the toilet's backed up, and if you're not going to have the right attitude about it, fuck it, I'll just shit on you. The utility is trying to determine how the joint became disconnected and how much water reached the scene. Radioactive wastewater also leaked last month from a different section of the same system of pipes. Last December, water leaked from another device within the plant compound. In both cases, the wastewater is believed to have flowed into the sea. It makes me so happy to know someone cared enough to do this for us. Prime Minister Noda held intense discussions with three of his cabinet ministers about restarting two nuclear reactors in Japan. Currently, only one of the country's 54 reactors is running. Noda and his ministers basically approved a draft of new stricter safety standards for nuclear plants. It was drawn by school children in Kobe. Meeting these standards would be a precondition for restarting reactors. We'll be briefed by the industry minister regarding a draft of new stricter safety standards. Then we'll have thorough discussions. Oh my God, no way. This is the second meeting Noda and the three ministers have had on this issue. Industry Minister Yukio Edano briefed the group on the draft standards. The rules include steps to secure power sources in emergencies and make nuclear plants tsunami proof. The Prime Minister told Edano to draft the standards ahead of the decision to restart two of the reactors at the Oi nuclear plant in Fukui Prefecture. He and the ministers will meet again Friday. Chief Cabinet Secretary Osamu Fujimura says the new safety standards would also be applied to decide whether other reactors should resume operations. The planned standards would not be temporary, but new criteria. They would be a major index in deciding whether to restart a reactor. We might consider making them legislation eventually. Debris from the earthquake and tsunami in Japan last year is a huge problem, and it may soon be a headache in other countries too. Japanese scientists say debris washed out to sea is approaching North America. Japanese government officials are getting ready to retest a public warning system. Japanese government officials say an estimated one and a half million tons of debris is drifting on ocean currents. They ask scientists to estimate how it's being spread by ocean currents and the wind. The simulation shows parts of half-submerged objects, such as fishing boats and buoys, may have neared North America in February. It suggests heavier objects will get there this October. The simulation shows more than 40,000 tons of debris will likely arrive within 10 kilometers of the North American shoreline around February next year. Japanese government officials plan to talk with officials in affected countries about ways to clean it up. The system failed in a test earlier this week. Authorities in France say an accident at one of the country's nuclear facilities won't pose a threat to the environment. A fire broke out Thursday at the Pangli plant, triggering a leak of radioactive water. Spokespersons for France's nuclear safety agency say a puddle of oil on the floor of a reactor building is behind the fire. Safety devices automatically shut down the unit. Emergency workers put out the flames. One of them reportedly suffered minor burns. Investigators found radioactive coolant had seeped from a pump joint. Plant operators say they've plugged the leak and mopped up the contaminated water. I feel encouraged to know that they share the pain of the children.
Blues, that's all we got is Fukushima blues. Was the Fukushima blues? Let me get rid of this before something else starts playing on here. What I'd like to do one day, what I'd like to do, I'll play, I'll play a backing with that uh, Pomp and Playback. I have to, I'll have to, I subscribe to him before I talk to him. Before he'll have to come up with something, and we'll write a song about this whole situation. Oh yeah, the Fukushima Blues. So there it is. It's going to be published, and it'll be on. That's the name of it, Fukushima Blues. It's blues and G. So there, so no one can take it. There you go. You know, I can't believe how uh, Sony and well, what, Universal and NBC, I believe it is. So one of them, somebody, someone keeps flagging everything. Oh, this is property. Uh, We'll be right back after these capitalist messages! 